Hey guys, today I wanted to share with you guys my thoughts and opinions on a topic that I've been thinking a little bit about the last few days, which is disappointment, right? And I'll share my opinion and maybe you can find some value in it, yeah? So, uh, for the past maybe two weeks, I've been working on maybe more. Uh, this cover, Rust cover that I posted la last week, whatever, whatever day it was, and it didn't do as well as I expected. I, re I was really proud of it. I was like, oh, this video looks cool and stuff, you know, by the water. The vocals are sounding cool. Uh, I'm happy with it. I didn't have to do a lot of tuning or whatever. And it just didn't do as well. In terms of views, it did well. In terms of performance, not really. If we're cutting the views out of the picture, you know. And sometimes things don't work out like you expect. And... I think that's what can differ people that achieve their goals in some aspects and whatever goals that those are and people who give up. Yeah, in life, I think it's a lot easier for you to give up on your goals, whether that's finishing university or you being an actor or you being a painter or you being a musician like myself. Because sometimes you're scared of judgment and what other people might think and what other people say. And I just wanted to say I'm not going to stop now. A lot of music is coming out. A lot of content is coming out. But I just wanted to say, uh, in general, I think if you have a goal, whatever that is, you should just stay consistent. It will be worth it. I'm talking about a long journey. I'm not saying it's going to be quick. I'm talking six years. You know, something like that. I don't even have music out on Spotify yet. Why should I be discouraged to put myself out there? You know, whatever. It's just numbers. It's a numbers game. But it is a numbers game I got to learn how to play. And, yeah. I don't know if I should be doing more covers, to be honest. Uh, I like doing covers. But when I do covers, it's impossible for you not to be compared to the original artist. Because it's a cover, you know. And unless you're an amazing singer or you do something different to the cover, you're not going to stand out or it's just going to be like, okay, yeah, that guy can sing close or like that guy can, um, you know, this sounds all right, you know? And yeah, I just wanted to share my thoughts on that. Just some quick thoughts on disappointment when you have your expectations broken down. Yesterday, I was a little bit upset about it. Of course, that's normal. But I know that if I want to make this shit happen, I cannot just give up whenever a video doesn't do as I expected, even though it did the views. So I just got to look at the broader picture. In three months time, that video is going to be irrelevant. Or maybe one year. I'm not even going to remember I made it. You know, if I got attention from some people, if I helped the algorithm to boost my whatever, um, engagement on the next month or so because I posted twice on the week that's still good uh, it's impossible to make everyone happy it's impossible to make something that everyone likes unless you're perfect but we're not perfect so yeah um, I'm really excited to share stuff so I'm gonna talk a little bit about what's happening this week so this week I'm posting this video of course I want to post another video which might be a free verse you know I'm trying a few different formats in videos um, Trying a few different formats to see what people like, what people don't like. Uh, even though I should be doing what I like, but I actually like doing everything. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I, I'm thinking maybe doing a free verse on uh, No More Parties in LA. I actually have that written. I have another verse I wrote on top of a beat, just random uh, YouTube beat. And for me, it's really easy to write. I can just write a whole song in one setting if I wanted to. Besides that, um, next week... I booked the studio, finally. So the goal is to record four songs in one entire day. Hopefully I can do that. The goal for the entire year is to hopefully have eight songs out on Spotify. Maybe pick two to promote heavily with some money. Um, out of eight, see the ones I like best. I actually have all the songs written. No, sorry. I have five songs written that I'm really happy with. I'm thinking of dropping one out of the equation. But I have four songs I really like and I'm really happy with it. Just so you get a little idea, they're more pop than the stuff I put on Instagram. Uh, two of them are like R&B, slow R&B. One is like a reggaeton song. One is like a electronic slash rap song. 
which actually reminds me of like 2000s music, which I really like. So if you like 2000s music, R&B and reggaeton party music, stick around, you know, you're going to see that in a few months. A lot of things happening. I just thought of clearing my thoughts. And yeah, don't let disappointments put you down of whatever you're trying to achieve. No one that has ever achieved anything great in life gave up because of disappointment, I think. And a lot of people could have been great, but they gave up because they were disappointed or discouraged or scared. So just keep going. Man, I'm about to start selling courses. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> no, I'm not going to do that. Even though it sounds like a motivational coach speaking. But yeah, just me sharing my thoughts. And it helps me get a clearer picture of the whole thing and my whole career that is starting. It is at the very start of it. And I want to, I think it will be quite interesting to make videos talking about my thoughts through this journey. Because it allows you to see the ups and downs. And in the future, when I'm up here on the industry, you know, people are going to be like, oh my God. He has a YouTube channel where he talks about his thoughts and we can go back to like three years ago, four years ago and see exactly what he was thinking. Oh my God. And then maybe that's going to help other independent musicians like myself, which is something similar to what Russ did when he went to podcast and he talked specifically about his thought process behind his uh, career and exactly what he did and what steps. So yeah, I just think it's going to be really cool. Um, I take a little bit of inspiration from Sam Sulek, which is totally unrelated to music. But if you if you like the gym, you know that guy because that guy is absolutely massive on the fitness industry. If you're not, basically, he's a guy that basically records himself day to day going to the gym. The videos are like one hour long. It's just him talking to the camera like I'm doing here. And it's very raw, very true to himself. And people actually really like that because he's being true to himself in an era that... Uh, being perfect in social medias is the most common thing. Being true to yourself is a rare trait that few people show and people relate to it and people enjoy that. So I believe I'm trying to do a little bit of that here. So yeah, delivering a little bit of Matthew Cicada behind Cicada. Anyways, I'm gonna go.